Hi, I'm Vicky. This is Judy, and this is Natasha, and together we, we are, are doing, doing a fashion, fashion star, star challenge. challenge. Yay! One, two, three, fuck it. Thank you so much for all the love and support for the first episode. I know you guys enjoyed it, so I've decided to make this a series. Today we'll be styling three looks and just like last time I want to make things exciting so I've got these envelopes here I'm gonna reveal them in front of you guys even though I know exactly what they are so the first outfit is I don't even need to read it it's a wedding guest outfit it's a tricky one you don't want to steal the bride's thunder and you also don't want to look kind of sloppy you know the second outfit is an outfit for New York Fashion Week a girl can only dream the third outfit is an outfit for your ex's funeral. I don't think I'll be invited to it, but um, I'll try. My guests today are, no joke, some of the most talented fashion designers in New Zealand. Judy has her own couture label called Judy Gal Couture, and she handcrafts all these amazing dresses from scratch, and honestly, she is so talented. I just love her dresses because they are fit for the Oscars, if I ever get to go to the Oscars. I'll wear one of her dresses. I would actually use the word ethereal to describe some of her dresses because they are out of this world pretty. Natasha is the founder and designer for her own label, Staffing Artist Fund. It's not just a cool name, it's a socially conscious, gender neutral label that is based in New Zealand and all ethically made in New Zealand, which is freaking awesome. Her designs are super edgy, super structural and super cool. If you're not following them already, please do check them out in the comment section down below. I'll be linking their social handles and also their website. So if you fancy buying one of their pieces. So two very different yet equally talented fashion designers, as well as um, your fashion enthusiast, Wikipedia. Let's start the challenge. Wedding guest, what am I gonna do? Cute groomsman. No cute groomsman. So here's my oh, very <laughs> impractical <laughs> wedding guest outfit. I could go for a safe option like a cocktail dress, but I've decided to wear a jumpsuit. It's a great alternative if you want it to be a little bit more fashion forward. I've chosen this flowy jumpsuit with a plunging neckline that is probably a little bit too revealing for weddings, but you can always layer it with a mesh turtleneck. It's winter right now in New Zealand, so you do need a jacket, and I've decided to go for a very trusty vintage leather jacket that is fit it because I want to pretend there are no fashion. I just chucked it on without having my arms through the sleeves. You know, it's highly impractical but it looks freaking awesome. <laughs> For accessories, I have chosen this amazing Lucy Folk clutch which has a shoulder strap so you could still put your hands up in the air on the D floor at the wedding reception. And for footwear, I have chosen these simple black heels which are high enough so you can get the leg sleeves off the floor. They aren't too high because that would be a health and safety risk, especially if you had a little bit too much to drink. Hi everyone, my name is Judy and I'm a fashion designer from Auckland. I'll be doing three very different looks today for the style challenge. For my first look, this is what I would wear to a wedding. It's called the Emmy Wrap Dress on my website. I chose this dress because it's soft and feminine and the sleeves add a bit of modesty. For photos, I like to leave it long and extra and on the dance floor, you just simply grab the front corner, tie a knot in you have the cocktail dress. You know, you're ready to dance. And to finish the look off, I've just got some simple nude heels. And I will just wear some dainty jewellery, like a rose gold necklace or earrings, which I don't have. Right, so this is my wedding guest look. Um, I'm just assuming that the bride is more extra than I am. I'm wearing the bustle pads for my bride's starting out as fund. This was from our latest collection called Where Are You From? Where Are You Really From? Who has been? It was based on colonial references with the Victorian bustle. That's how I came up with this draping. And the top is from an op shop. I'm pretty sure it's Q. I chose this because it's got like those nice lines that I love and those you know, kind of geometric things. And the shoes are the ones I wore to prom. 
pretty sure they're Andrea Biani. And that's the look. Looks like I'm going to the gym, but I'm not. Now let's go for a statement shoe. Hey, 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 hey. Here's my New York Fashion Week outfit when I finally get to go in the future. I'm wearing this turtleneck bodysuit from this label called Alex NYC, which is a New York based label. There's a cheeky little zip in the chest area so you could go boom and uh, you're all exposed, but I'm just gonna keep these in there for now. I paired the bodysuit with a pair of bike shorts as well as an oversized blazer to complete the layering. And of course, you can cinch the waistline with a belt just to give that silhouette a little bit more shape. Unlike Judy and Natasha, I have absolutely no idea how to design clothes, but I can wear Kiwi designers that I support. This blazer is from my friend Josh's label called Aspen. Please check him out. To give this outfit the <laughs> factor, I am wearing this very bright blue raisin yellow handbag from another one of my favorite Kiwi labels, Stolen Girlfriends Club. Since this outfit is such a mood, I have decided to go all out with my footwear and I'm wearing these brown knee high leather boots Quite frankly, I have no occasions to wear them too, so I'm saving them for New York Fashion Week. And they really elevate the look and my height. And you can't go to Fashion Week without a pair of sunglasses. I really like these Gentle Monster Sunnies because they go so well with my outfit and they make me look like I belong to the front row, even though I might get bounced at the door. For the second look, this is what I would wear to a fashion show. I actually found this in an op shop for $10. It was in the men's section and it was such a bargain. So I saw the stitching and the fabric, such a nice quality. For the outfit underneath, I'm going to go for a simple all black look with a bustier and some flared pants. The top is super cute. I think I got it from bras and things many years ago and with the pants I made it myself. I just wanted something kind of simple and all black and I've just got some simple black boots under here. Now putting the outfit together, this jacket is slightly oversized on me but after adding a belt to cinch the waist and a little bag, I think this is much better. And to finish it off I would add some layered gold chains and some gold jewelry which I again do not have. <laughs> so this is my New York Fashion Week look. I don't usually get time to think about what I'm wearing before shows so this is quite nice. I'm wearing two pieces from Starving Artist Fund. The Vortex bra which is from my first collection and the Riot Pants which are from my first collection as well. The Vortex bra was actually a last minute addition to the collection. I actually made it the night before we shot the lookbook and it ended up being one of my favorite pieces so that's lucky and i'm wearing this trench just because it has a bit of print and i love a long cape situation i'm also a knuckle duster always and my favorite choker and these earrings are from and other stories so that's my look i swear this outfit wasn't my idea Am I the crazy ex-girlfriend? You bet. I need to make sure I'm not recognizable when I sneak in there. Now let me introduce you to Victoria. And this is what she'll wear to her ex's funeral. I wanted to start this outfit off with something solemn and gothic, which is why I'm wearing this flowy top by Alice McCall. It goes very well with this bonnet, which is a piece designed by my current boyfriend's label, Charlie's Laundry. Wait, am I wearing my current boyfriend's label to my ex's funeral? Am I doing this on purpose? Anyway, I am pairing this top with something more structural down at the bottom just to anchor the outfit and give that flowiness a little bit of structure, which is a neoprene midi skirt by my current boyfriend's label, Charlie's Laundry. To keep things respectful and modest, I am not showing any leg skin. So I've decided to pair my outfit with a pair of knee-high boots which would keep everything covered. And I have carried a black basket bag because I want to get my rose out and place it on the casket when it's my turn. To complete the look, I have prepared a pair of cat eye sunnies so I can keep it on the D-low and pay my respect at the back of the crowd. To be honest, I actually really like this look and not just for funeral. I reckon if I just lose that bonnet and my silly wig, it's actually a pretty damn fashionable look. For the last look, this is what I would wear to an ex's funeral as inappropriate as it might look. This is the close-up detail of the pants and top. 
the all little grommets with the lace ups, same with the corset and the cuffs. So why I really like to add these details is that it's cute and also functional, so that means the corset is size adjustable. So what I've done here is paired it with the top underneath, so it's more conservative, you know, for the grandparents, and makes it less see-through. You've got some sheer pants going on, so, you know, you want to show off to the current girlfriend how hot you still are. And yeah, I've got the same boots underneath. On second thought, it's probably not the most appropriate outfit for a funeral, but um, yeah, here you go. To finish it off, I'll probably just wear a black hat or sunglasses to show just how sad you are. So this is my showing up to your ex's funeral look. I'm wearing my Lost Fades dress from Camel Light. It's Japanese denim and got a lot of cutout action. I've got a tiger print as well. Paired it with leather gloves and thigh high boots from Mi Piaci. And this is what my partner calls my Freddy Krueger hat. And in terms of sunglasses, I generally go for Elton John Meats and Italian Widow, so I think it's appropriate. And these are from Amateur Stories. And that's it from us. I hope you enjoyed this episode of our Fashion Style Challenge. And if you haven't seen episode one, please click the link up here. At times like these, I think it's so important to support your local and I hope this ongoing series will give Kiwi brands and Kiwi designers the exposure they so deserve. I would like to thank Natasha and Judy for collaborating with me. They are such talented designers. If you haven't followed them already, please check the links out down below. And if you happen to like me as well, please subscribe to my channel because there's definitely more to come. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out!